All right, y'all. Monday morning over here at Cabela's. And uh, they had some stuff on the shelf. And Cody, the employee here, told me they had a truck. So I stuck around and waited for him to bring out the first load of uh, what they had. I'll show that here in a second. So real quick, this is the powder they got on in, in stock. And I'm still learning about the powder, so I can't tell you much about it. But you can see what they got. Um, I did see some uh, a couple boxes of large pistol primers on the shelf there there's a couple more there and it looks like they might have gotten a little bit on the truck as well so i'll show you that here in a second because cody didn't realize that was sitting there on the shelf and still sitting there so large pistol primers they do have a couple there um i already grabbed a box last time i saw it so i didn't grab these so they got the normal reloading stuff here and then i'm just kind of waiting around for him to bring the truck out and uh so the uh, holsters they have uh revolver holsters over here i'm not sure i've been thinking about finding one for my uh for my little revolver there that i don't think any of these would work well for what i'm wanting though but reloading stuff they have they have a lot of reloading stuff that's stored here in allen so if you guys are getting into reloading this is what they've got um, i'm still learning what all of it does and what you actually need so i can't give you much advice there so once again though they do have some large pistol primers over here at Cabela's and Allen. So let's move over to the ammo real quick. They do have some steel shot uh, 12 gauge that I've been asked to look for, and I do see it there. And then also, as you can see here, they have the uh, slugs, one ounce slugs there. And then, oh, here comes Cody with the truck. All right, so this is the uh, this is the, the primers he said he got, and this is the first load, the first cart. Now he's got to unload all this and and then uh then go back for the other cart but he has another cart about the same size of strictly shotgun stuff is what he said so this has a little bit of a mixture of everything and i'm still kind of looking through the boxes here i didn't want to take up too much of his time because they got other customers walking in here to see what they what they want and so you can grab any markings off these boxes to see what he's putting out on the shelves right now it is what time is it it is 11 o'clock right now and he is currently at this moment Cody is working hard to get your animals on the shelf so uh back to what they do have on the shelf now they do have some uh nine millimeter on the shelves as you see here price is decent and so forth they have some hollow points and uh, they do have the 10 millimeter uh aluminum they don't have a brass but they do have the aluminum i noticed this had two limit boxes here so uh, this is Aguila, Aguila, and then the 5.56 down there. And then, uh, so they have quite a bit of that. And I think that's a decent price. Yeah, that's a really good price. Um, so then, they, of course, they have the 5.56, 2.23, all these big boxes over here for people who want to grab those. And they have the smaller boxes for you know, those of us who just want to grab a box or two here and there. Prices aren't too bad. Uh, 3.08, um, 7.60, so yeah, you can see they have a bunch of stuff on the shelf. They're getting more. Um, I did not see any 410. 410 I have not seen in a little bit. Um, the only place I've seen it is at Cabela's, and it was gone quickly, and it's been a while, and I've talked to them at Cabela's, and I'm not starting out at Cabela's. over Shields, and they said that they had, um, they had it, and it was gone quickly. Um, but other regular rounds and so forth, they are getting they are having on on the stock on the shelves um i didn't see as much 22 lr in the two stores i've been to today as i've been seeing um you know what i take that back because they had the aglet i just haven't seen the other brands and so forth the um shields had a bunch of it the other day as well but you know haven't seen a whole bunch of it now they do have these buckets down here i did kind of forget about those buckets but um i haven't tried the buckets they seem to fail a lot and i don't know all right so they got the winchester uh self-defense defender rounds and just different miscellaneous uh self-defense ammo that you can see there and what else they got here they got well, okay they still have that you know that obviously that shotgun ammo i was telling you about and just a quick breeze through here i'm gonna go ahead and just let y'all sit back and enjoy the video of what they got stop listening to me talking because you guys are probably tired of hearing it just like everybody else in my family is but all right 
So here it is. So y'all have a good one. Stay wild. And if you stick around to the end, they do have some reloading manuals over here. So don't forget about those. Those are always helpful. I'm reading mine up now. All right, bye, y'all.